Well, hi folks, it's almost time to start planting my onion sets now. And this year, what I'm going to grow are ones called heat treated onion sets. So I've just got these today. These are from Marshall's, Marshall's Seeds. I've got a selection of three different lots red ones and two different yellow ones. And they also chucked in a big pot of free uh, onion, garlic, and shallot feed. So, heat treated onion sets, what are they all about? Well, what it is, with onion sets, because an onion set is like the second year onion, and in the second year an onion will tend to go to seed, what they do is they heat treat these for a period of months. I'm not sure about the exact temperatures, but they keep them at high humidity and, and quite a high temperature, because in each, short, in each sort of onion set, there's like a, an embryonic flower head somewhere in there. And keeping it at that temperature and that humidity for a period of months actually kills the little embryonic seed head in there. So there's hardly any chance of these going to seed. Unlike normal normal onions, sometimes you, have, you can have a disastrous season. Say you get a really hot period or a dry period or even a cold period in summer. You can get cracking crops and all of a sudden they all just decide to send the, the flower shoots up. Now the red ones are especially prone to that, the normal, the normal onion sets. So this year, like I said, I'm going to use these heat treated ones. They cost a little bit more, but they're virtually guaranteed not to go to seed and you get a far better crop. I used to grow up all the time and for some reason I just stopped growing them and just got the, the normal onion set. And for the last four or five years I've had pretty pathetic onions. Maybe 50% of them are fine and then the other 50%, as soon as they start to look good, they start sending a seed up. So like I said, heat treated ones are the way to go. <laughs> we'll get up and get some planted. Start planting these now, folks. It's going to be easier. It's a bit windy, so you might not be able to hear me. But it's just as simple as get the little onion set. It's got a pointed end and a blunt end where there's some little roots. It's just a matter of pushing the, the onion set into the soil so the tip is just, just proud of the soil, just poking through the top of the soil. And I plant these about six inches apart in the row and then a foot between the rows so like I said it's, it's such an easy job just pushing them in with your fingers so just the top of the just the tips walking through the soil in a row a foot apart these are called fen early I've got some other red ones which are called red fern and then we've got some called rumba so I'll do about four or five rows of each and then we'll see how they get on during the summer and hopefully we should have a good crop of onions that don't go to seed so I'll just get on and finish these and I'll just show you what it's like when it's finished it couldn't be easier really right then folks that's it done I've put three rows of each in so three fen early three rumba and three red fen I think they were called I've got 11 in each row so that's 99 onions in all in the nine foot part of my bed so hopefully we should get a decent crop I've still got absolutely like half the packs left as well, so you get a hell of a pack. Still got half my fertilizer left as well. So anyway, that's it. Heated treat onions planted, heated, heat treated onions planted this year. Just chubbed in the holes like you can see there, just dibbed in. Hopefully they should grow away well and we don't get any uh, or many going to seed this year. So that's about it folks. Onions done. See you later.